Okay. But do you do it anyways? This? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, this is a. There's a couple parts to this. Inshallah, we're gonna review a little bit of what we did. What we did last time. Um, this inshallah, this class. Um, I hope everybody is review is looking at the vocabulary. The vocabulary and the things that we that we do in each class will help you immensely. So, yes, last class was our first vocabulary class. Today and some rules. We're gonna review those. Today we're gonna do a little bit more, and you'll see some repetition. The third class, the third class is going to be the golden class. We're going to start bringing all those rules and all the words together. So inshallah, the surah will come alive. Starting today, what I would recommend is everyone to start reading surah teen in their salah, at least for two of the salahs or the sunnahs or something, two times in a day, start reading it. You will already start putting a few things together. I think that I'm, I'm sure some people tried um, uh, breaking out down the course. For themselves, and I'm sure you you saw like someone was saying that they saw how that helped them. So, um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to read from Imam Ghazali's um, recitation and interpretation of the Quran. We're going to read like one paragraph every time we sit because it's just the book is very amazing. And Imam Ghazali was is one of the probably most prominent scholars of our religion after uh, through, through the history of the scholarship. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Khairukum man ta'allama al-Qur'an wa 'allama. So, with the best of you is those who teaches and learns the Qur'an. This is a this is a, a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, in the name of Allah, most gracious, uh, most merciful. Uh, the Qur'an is in illumination and light. By it is obtained deliverance from error and deception. So this is what our Quran is. Therefore, that way it helps us to know what is right and wrong. And in it lies the healing of those diseases, diseases which exist in men's souls. Anyone of even the most powerful men who contradicts it, contradicts the Quran, is severely punished by Allah, by God. And anyone who seeks knowledge from a source other than it is led astray by him. The Quran is the strong rope of Allah, of God, which man should grasp firmly. His clear light in which man should walk in life, the strongest, most dependable support is what come with Quran, which man should take hold of, and the most perfect shelter to which man should have recourse. So that's one paragraph of Imam Ghazali's uh, um, book, Recitation and Interpretation of the Quran. We're gonna read one paragraph at a time. It just, he just brings the Quran to life, like the importance of it. Okay, bismillah. So now uh, let's see who's participating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully add a few of the people here that were here last time. Um, Okay. All right. So, Ismail. Ismail, okay. When I call a name out, uh, turn your mic on. And the next person is uh, Zahra. All right. So, Ismail, you ready for a question? No looking at your notes. Zahra, make sure he's not looking at his notes. All right. Ismail. What is to me? What, is, what does it mean? What does kathaba mean? Kathaba. You or Zahar can respond because you guys are brothers and sisters, right? Or Abdurrahman. Or Abdurrahman. Go ahead. It means to lie. What is it? It means to lie. Yep. Good one. Now, yeah. And your sister, what is, what is form two? What is form two of kathaba? What is form two of kathaba? Okay, Barak, what's the form two of kathaba? Kathaba. No. That's right. That's right. All right, Ali Bhai. What is Kama? Uh... <laughs> 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 
What is comma? You gotta be quick, guys. You got something. Comma? To stand up. It's okay. What is form two of comma? Uh, sir. Kawama. All right. Um, who remembers what is what is what is to be low? What is to be low? All right, Zubair. Zubair. This question is for Zubair. What is to be low? Go ahead. Turn your mic on. Yeah. Mm. What is to be low? I'm... Huh? <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> yeah. What is to be low? <laughs> Just thinking. No. Yeah. Keep take. Okay. To be low is. Okay. Go ahead, Barack. As, no, no, safila. no. Sa, yeah, safala, safala, safala is to be low. All right, Zubair, why? What is then? And, you know, so I think what, what did we say we were going to do this? And uh, I can't see the participants now. I can't even see my list actually. Okay. Oh, you can't see participants. No, because I, you know, how we have to. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, uh, Zubair, Zubair, then keep your mic on for a minute. What is, if Safala is to be low, then what's to be the lowest? I know you know. Uh, it's called Ism Tafdil. Huh? Yeah. Go mm. ahead. No, no. <laughs> no, oh, this then? is the first time I'm joining. I'm very, very busy. Oh, you're the first, is the first time? Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Yeah, sorry. So, so I don't have right, so, 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 on, on this yeah. In this class, yeah, the vocabulary yeah, yeah. is really important, okay? And okay. so... Um, the I would I, I'm, I'm we're gonna send the, the 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 vocabulary list out. It's really it's first of all it's really important to be on time. Try to be on time if you can attend in person, guys. It's really it's really beneficial because I can see everybody and then and you know I uh, um I, you know I like that student interaction. You'll you'll benefit too. So look at the vocabulary list before the next class and um uh uh um inshallah it, it, you know we're, we have there our minutes allotted for what we're doing um, during when you guys come. So um, come on time. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, where's the participants again? All right. All right. I, I, I could, but I, I guess we, I didn't know what we were doing in the beginning. So I, I, yeah. We're enough time for it. Yeah. Yeah, inshallah. Sure. All right. So let me review a little bit of what we did last time, okay? We did something called ism tafdil. All right. It means something something that is um uh something that is more than uh the the, the verb that we were using. Right? So if the verb is um, safal, right? Which safala means he, he to be low. He was low. Asfal means to be the lowest. Okay. So you should have one page for this concept called ism tafdil. Right on top of it, ism tafdil. All right. And every verb that we that we learned, that's, that's, that you can put on it. So we learned a word last time called hakama. All right. It means to pass judgment. All right. So ism tafdil of hakama was what? Ahkam. Ahkam. Right. And, um, and we learned a verb last time called hasuna, which is to be fine, to be beautiful, to be handsome. The ism tafdil of a hasuna is? Yes, that's right. Right. And, and even though, even though safala is sa, the, the fa, remember? So we learned the, the all verbs have this, this first, second, and third letter. Fa, ain, lam. And it can be fa, ala, fa, ula, or fa, ila. Okay, but the ism tafdil is always the same. It's always af al. 
It's always the same. So if you, if you as soon as you see this form, af'al, ahkam, asfal, you'll always know it's ism tahdeel. All right? So this is reviewing a little bit. So we are, uh, you'll see a lot of repetition in the class, inshallah. So all these concepts will get, you know, firm. Amin is also ism tafdeel? No. No, right? Okay. So, so ism tafdeel is one of the one of the things that we finished. All right? Yeah. Now, let, now, let's review another thing that we mentioned last time. Yeah. Okay? We mentioned something called um, sifa mushabaha. Sifa mushabaha. Now, sifa mushabaha is, um, it can have, Two different meanings. Actually, someone in the class actually later told clarified something to me, which was, which was good. So, when we said there was something called fa'il, fa'il, okay, so fa'ala, like we learned last time, all basic verbs, all the basic form of verb is fa'ala, it can be fa'ula or fa'ila, but it's three letter verbs, the root. So, the um, the form. A fa'ala, when it takes fa'il form, it means, what does it mean? Fa'il. So fa'ala, <laughs> it's windy out here, from paper to the other. Look at my answer sheet. It's a cheat sheet. So fa'ala means, means he did, or he's, he, he, he did. Okay? Fa'il is? Yeah, he is the doer. Okay, so if um, Rakaba is to ride, what is the Rakib? Batul. No, the one who rides. Okay, so if if um, uh, uh, Daraba, Daraba is to hit. What is Darib? Oh, here's a, here's a, I think, Yemen, you want, you want, you want to answer that question? Uh, it's not going around, but yeah, for sure. I, I, had an, I had an answer. The answer is uh, the hitter, the one who hits. But I also had a question. Okay, okay, wait, 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 one second before your question. Do you know what Darib is? The one who hits. Yeah, the one with. So that we're following. So we, we just reviewed. Uh, um, we, we reviewed right now. Ism tafdeel and the ism fa'il. Okay? Fa'il, that form is the one who does that verb. Hey, what's your question, uh, Yaman? Uh, my question is uh, Daraba and uh, Rakaba. Do, you, yeah. do these letters end with Tama Buta or do they end with Alif? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the ends right now. Don't 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 talk about it. Don't we're not gonna mention. Just remember the the form. All of these will per, they'll, they'll be different permutations. They'll be different permutations. Come come sit down, guys. Okay, it, it's just that I'm writing okay. down as uh, as we go along, right? So all the Arabic words I write in Arabic. That's why I just was wanted to know the spelling. What, what, say it again. Uh, I just wanted to know the spelling of uh, Rakaba. Will it end with Tamarbuta or will it end with Alif? Yeah, so the, what, what I'm saying, oh, ba, it's, it's raka ba, raka, ra, raka ba, ba. Okay, so ba is the last letter. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, yeah. Randall. All right, so, all right, Helen, what's that, Helen? Glad you guys can make it. We got some more guys coming in. So, so uh, okay, thank you for coming. Wonderful to have you. Just want to say, being being on time with this class, please have to eat. Is it's going to be really important. I have the minutes mapped out on this, so so people can benefit like in, in, completely. So we're we're last class. Did you guys get the vocabulary by any chance? No. So the vocabulary is uh, review the vocabulary for next class. So that's the first vocabulary. We have we actually gone through a little bit of a review of that those those words. So I'm just going to continue. Inshallah, you'll be able to kind of make piece make sense of a little, a little bit of it. We are trying to record it, so it'll be available. So, but where are the handouts? Uh, on, on, uh, I'll send you a digital copy. As well. Yeah, yeah. If you sign up with, if you send them the email, then they'll send you the handouts. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So there was an email on the on the flyer. Okay, so ism fa'il, right? The root, the ver, a root verb it has three letters. Fa'ala. 
So the fa'il is the one who does it. So now we just said daraba is to hit, darib is to hit her. Rakaba is to ride, rakib is the one who rides. Uh, Fa'ala uh, fa uh, fa is to do, fa'il is the one who does. There's um, another word, we, we, uh, another permutation, okay, which is called the ism maf'ul that we learned. Yeah. Okay, ism maf'ul. So we've learned, right? Last time we learned sifa, sifa mushahabata, sifa, sifa mushahabata, hey. ism tafdeel, um, fa, ism fa'il, and something called ism maf'ul. Maf'ul. Okay, so ism maf'ul is the thing that it's done to. Okay, so rakaba is to ride. Rakib is the one is the rider. The markub is being ridden on. The thing that's ridden on. That could be your bike. Could be your car. Yeah. All right. The uh, daraba is to hit. Darib is the hitter. Madrub is the one guy who got hit. Right. So that's ism maf'ul. All right. So now we've we've uh, just reviewing what we did last time. Now. The last, the, the reason I'm mentioning this is sifa mushabaha, okay, can mean fa'il or maf'ul. Last time I mentioned that sifa mushabaha can mean, only means fa'il, but I can, it could be fa'il or maf'ul. And someone gave me a good example of that. And they said, the uh, uh, regime, right, is uh, shaitan regime. It's the thing that's accursed, right? So that's follows a pattern of ful. So, sifa mushabaha follows a pattern. It's like, it goes, fa'il, fa'il. All right? This is the pattern of sifa mushabaha. It can mean, it's a fa'il or it's a, or it's a ful. So, this is the, it's the, the pattern of fa'il, right? Which we covered in the surah is amin, right? And, um, Amin. Amin is the only word we learned that was for that uses the pattern of sifa mushabaha. Sifa mushabaha can mean it's in file or it's in makul. In this, in uh, for Amin, it follows. It means file, the one who is trustworthy. So the Prophet ﷺ is called Amin. The land is called Amin. It's uh, um, re yeah reliable uh, land. So um, the only difference between Sifa Mushabah has looked so uh, uh, Kareem and Ka uh, you know, someone who's someone of So, um, uh, someone who is, uh, you know, um, using a, ver a verb with file is the one who just, he just did it once. Darib. He was, he hit once. But if he was Darib, he would, he's, it's part of his his life, you know. It's he is darib. All right, he's always constantly doing it. Okay, so now these are the verbs that we used last time with their kind of some of their permutations. Um, we also reviewed one last thing is we did was form two, form two is fa a la fa fa. Okay, so form two, there's different forms that we're going to learn. In, in this surah, is we're talking about surah teen. In surah teen, there is a pattern that comes as fa, fa'ala. -a there's a shadda in the middle letter. Fa'ala. This, when the verb has fa, this pattern, fa'ala, it follows the same pattern for you, fa'ilu. All right, so you so memorize it like, like that. Fa'ala you fa'ilu. Fa'ala you fa'ilu. Fa'ala you fa'ilu. All right, that is a that is a form two pattern. Same root fa'ala, but when it has the shadda in the middle, it means either an intensive form, right, or it means to do it to somebody else. To do that to make someone else do that verb. So the examples were. Qama, which is going to be on the sheet. Qama, qawwama. Qama means to stand. 
Kawama means make someone, stand. make someone stand. To stand something up. To form it up. Is it like the apple? No. This is, this is form two of a regular verb. It's to do, but to do either strongly or to do it to somebody, make something else do. So, kama is to stand. Kawama is to make something stand it up, to form it up, to organize it. Doing it physically? Uh, no, it doesn't mean me, me physically. Yeah, question. Is kawama also form two? Yeah, kawama is form two. Same with manna. No, 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 sorry, not manna. It's uh, kathaba. So kathaba, kathaba means to lie. Kathaba means to lie. Kathaba means to think that someone else is lying. To disbelieve. You're lying, I don't believe you. Right? So kathaba is to lie. Kathaba is to, 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 to cry a lie. To say he's crying a lie. To cry a liar. Okay? So in this surah, we learn... Fa'ala and yufa'ilu. A form two of two verbs, kadaba and qama. One last thing that we did, okay? Now, this is the last review of the, from the last se session is mazdar. We went by very, very quickly. Can you, can you just one last time yeah. explain the meaning of two? Uh, of intensive, of form two. Form two is either intensive or causative. You cause something, some of that verb to be from somebody else. So, uh, like, you... Kathaba is you lie. Kathaba is that you you cry you, you cry him a liar. To basically you're lying means I disbelieve in you. There's always a link between the fa'ala. How would you translate fa'ala? In, intensive or causative? You, as we see more examples, you'll come out. Come come. You, you'll no, see it. This is fa'ala example in Surah Tino. It's 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 a uh, it's uh, kathaba. So kathaba. So watch watch. Let me get there. So then we last, uh, this last thing we did was called the mazdar. Okay? You, actually, you don't even need to, you, you don't have to look, know the word. Just, just know the words. I don't want to make it complicated. The mazdar is the adverb. An adverb. Do you know what an adverb is? Uh, it's a description, but it's, it's, it's a noun, though. So, for example, I organize. See again? I organize. Organization is the mazdar okay the mazdar is the is a noun it's a it's a thing you did but it's not a verb so i'm organizing now i'm i'm i i organize i organize he organized organization is the mazdar it's an adverb all right so kadhaba kadhaba is to lie Kadhaba is to not to believe something. All right? Not, not believe. To, to disbelieve. Right? The mazdar of that verb is what? Yes. No. Kadhaba you kadhibu. That's the verb. Kadhaba is form one. Yakdibu is the, the present of, a present of lying. Kadhaba, lie. Yakdibu, lying. I lie. I lie now. Kadhaba to dis He. Uh, uh, um, he disbelieved. You kathibu. He is disbelieving. Okay. Takvib is the mazdar. Okay. So this is the new one that you have to learn. Form two has a mazdar. That is tafil. No. Kathaba. You kathibu. Takvib. Yeah. No. 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 Yes, that's what it is. Taf'il. Yeah. Rattaba, rattaba, yurattibu. Tartib. Uh, to be in in order. He put, he put in order. He puts in order. Tartib. The the putting uh, order. Ordering? Or, organize, organizing. Like, uh, okay, let's think of another one. Um. Uh, uh, kabbara, kabbara, you kabbiru, takbir, the uh, making uh, making high, making great, takbir. You say, oh, make, let's make the, the the great. Allah is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. You know, that's what we're saying, right? So the the mazda of a word is its 
adverb. Okay, it's a noun, and it always follows the form taf'il. Does masdar mean root? Huh? Does masdar mean root? No, no, no. It's it means adverb. Okay. Yeah. It's the it's the it's a, it's a it's an adverb and adverb it shows action, but it's a noun. J just like organ, just think of like work like organization. All right. So, uh, masdar has a pattern that it follows. Mas so, masdar, okay, all the verbs have a pattern oh. they follow. We learned from Suratin form two. We learned form one, form one is always, they're, they're always all over the place. We're going to learn them. But that form two is always follow a similar pa pattern. It's called fa'ala yufa'ilu taf'il. Okay? So, there's something for us to memorize for next class, all right? So you should have a form, you should have a page on Mazdar. Okay? Now you have you have a page on Ism uh, File. Ism Maf'ul. Sifa Mushabaha. Ism Tafdil and Mazdar. All these that you've learned in the vocabulary, you should make a note there. And you'll you'll see the, the, the repeated patterns. Okay. So last things we learned, oh, inshallah, you have hopefully every member remembers remembered what Deen was, Zaytun, Deen. Tur, Saleh, the all these things are free to re re memorize. So now let's move on to today's lesson. Before I go to today's lesson, any other questions? Because some of the people are new. I don't want to leave people behind, uh, but you know we're we're moving fast to do so. It's you know people have already co been coming. It's going to be like you know too much too much repetition for them too. But go ahead to get. I want to give anyone a chance to ask a question now if you have it. Yeah. The fail is the mazda of form two. Form two mazda. You should actually have a, a, a section on form two verbs. That's another page you should have. Form two verbs that you're learning. And then put all them in there. Can you follow this pattern? Fa'ala yufa'ilu tafil. And you'll see it. All right. This class, right, right now. So first class we did vocabulary. And we did some of these forms. Some of these, uh, the, the prominent things that came out in this uh, surah. Today, we're going to do a couple more rules and the things that are coming. Cl four, class three, inshallah, next class is going to be amazing. Inshallah, just have you, you just know these, these rules, these few rules and the vocabulary and the entire surah is going to be, like, be open for you. You'll understand every single word and how, it's, how, it's, uh, how it changes. It's going to be third class and third, inshallah, and fourth. Hopefully, we'll end in the fourth class. But if you just if you follow these two lessons, you'll see you'll see the magic in class three, inshallah. All right, all right. So, all right. Any other any questions? Any questions before I move on? Go ahead. I'm giving you a chance. Yeah. Go ahead. You want to have a question? Go ahead. Ask me a question. Okay. Huh? Dean. Oh, okay. So, inshallah, get after this class, give your email to Ali Bhai. He's going to email you the list of all the vocabulary. If you get that vocabulary, it's really important. You'll 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 be able to follow follow along. Okay. Dean is figs. Our figs. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I don't have my watch on me. Today. All right. 746. Sorry. So here's our new words for today. Okay, you can take notes, and then you can, um, uh, yeah, all these verbs, all this this little this little section that we that we're doing. I think you should have each. You should have a, like a kind of notes for each surah. Right now we're doing surah theme, right? So have a couple notes. Bring in that pad and paper next time. <laughs> and then you'll see how each surah, you'll have a small kind of like three or four pages. And then you, when you go through it, you'll see how it kind of links together. So here's a here's vocabulary for our uh, uh, this surah theme. Al. Who knows what al means? The. the. But what if you have a verb, a word without al? What does that mean? Common. Huh? Not that it's common. Okay, give me an example. It's he Not said it's bats common. And bats. Huh? Baitun, baitun. Okay, so bait. Okay. Let's say bait. Okay. 
Beit is a word. It means house. A house. A house. No, Beit oh, means house. Oh. Okay? If I say Al Beit, what does that mean? The house. The house. Do you ever hear that? Al Beit means the house. If you don't have Al, then you have, then you can put Tanween. All right? Tanween. That's the two Dhammas at the end. That means a house. All right? Anytime you have two Tanween, you can't have it with Al. You'll either have Al or, or, or Tanween. All right? So now watch in the Quran, whenever you see, either you'll have Al or you'll have Tanween. And that makes sense in English too. You say the grass, right? The grass, it means... Um, the book, right? The book. We're talking about a specific book. Hey, hey, did you bring? Did, did you bring the book? They'll know you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that book. It's the book. But if you say, "Did you bring a book?" You're like, "What book?" <laughs> right? So Tanwin is basically telling you something very specific. So it can't be both. They're, they're opposites. Okay, that's one. Any questions? Straightforward, right? All right. Next word. Hada. This. This. Huh? This. Yes. This. Hada. Hada qalam. This is a pen. All right. Hada qalamun. This is a pen. Hada al qalamu. This is the pen. Which pen? The great pen, or, you know, the pen of the class, or the green pen, whatever. If I specified it, it means something to us. Right? Right. All right. So, hada means this. In Arabic, it means something that is, when we say it in English too, this is, the rhetoric is very similar. If I say this, does it w would it mean the guy's bike over there? No. If I say this bike, it means it's probably a bike close by me because you can point to it. It's a near right. thing. It's, near it's a near thing. Hada. Hada is something close. All right? That's the context of that word. Similar to Different than, which we'll learn later, Zalika, uh, which is that. Yeah, that. All right. Another word is Allavina. Allavina. Allavina means? Uno Allavina means? Huh? Those... Yeah. yeah. Those or or um, the ones that, all right? So what's the difference between Alladina and Alladhi? We see both of these in the, in the Quran. What? Go ahead. What? So Alladina means people, like lots of people. Or could be things, lots of yeah. people or things, yeah? Yeah, and Alladhi, like oh, what? Yes. So difference is alladhi is singular and alladina is plural. All right? Fair enough? So you guys got to take some notes. This is this class, I mean, it's this stuff you're going to have to take some notes. Okay, we need it. You know what we need is someone in the class, if you're someone serious, is take notes like these and then let's make a, like a Google Doc or something share and share them. them. Share yeah. But it's good if you write them yourself because you'll, because it's, uh, all right? All right, next word. So, al tanween hada. We learn. al ladina al ladi. We learn. All right. Now, there's some words that we that are um, the that they uh, they're called they're called particles. All right. Okay. One review review from last week that we also did not cover. Right. I just want to review it. The three moods or states of words. All right. What's well, so the way we learn? Marfu. Marfu. Mansub. Mansub. And Majurur. All right. All of this is going to be reviewed over and over again, but I want you guys to make, take notes and so you got to follow it. Marfu is the default. All words are kind of like the, in their when their default state, they're marfu. Nothing has changed them. No agent or actor has changed them. It's usually you see 
the monet or wow we'll, we'll I'll, I'll i'll show you guys the details later okay, mansub why? mansub is when it has a fatha on it usually all right and majrur it has a kasra on it all right so there's these a certain number of words that cause a majrur state there's a few words that we're going to learn. What are they? Fi. Harf jar. That's right. They're called harf jar. Ila. Wa. Bi. And thumma. Now there are like 20 others, right? But I'm not mentioning all of them. Because our point is, if we just learn the words of this surah, It'll all come 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 together. So we're just learning a few. Thumma, ila, wa, bi. All right. These are these make the word that they're attached to majrur. So you'll see in the surah why is it watini, wazaytuni, not watinu, wazaytunu. Why isn't it? Because uh, because it makes next that it, yeah. Yeah. So watini was zaytuni, right? Is because of the wow. The wow has made the last letter of atin a kasra, and it means something. But is it vowel kasam or is something yes. else? No, no that's vowel kasam. Wow, well So we're what we're saying is that majrur happens due to certain things. Now wa and ba are kasam. Uh, 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 particles, particles of a qasam. When you use them, you say, Wallahi. You, say, you hear, oh, Wallahi. Right? Wallahi, I didn't do it. You know? <laughs> and he did it. It means, by Allah. Allah knows. I'm swearing by him. I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> right, Billahi. Same thing. By Allah. Yeah, by Allah. Wallahi also means like by Allah. All right. Ila, Ila, means two. All right. So let's write this word down. This is all, it's all part of the vocabulary. Ila. I didn't write it as a, as a list because these are small small words, and you you should have make them. They're all particles of khaf. They make things make things majrur. Or harf jar. It's not. They're not all harf jar, but you can think of these have different categories. This is a, okay. This as I told you guys before. This is a hack course. Yeah. I'm giving you guys the like. You know how we were talking about earlier. How you guys learn. You, you have to learn all this uh, complicated grammar, and then it, you're like, "Why did I learn the Arabic? I learned it to learn to understand the Quran." <laughs> but then when you finish the whole course. No one breaks down the Quran for you. you don't understand the Quran, right? Yeah. Because you you don't understand. You can't put it all together. So we're going right to the meat. We're going right to the right to the the rules that are just in the, that surah. Understanding the Quran, and then if you want to learn later, if you take a long time, long you know two year Arabic course, you'll see how it all fits in again. But this time we're just kind of using it for practical purposes, so we can understand the our surahs that we read. So wa and ba are. They have the same effect as other harf jar, which are ila. Ila means two. Fi means to be inside. So when you say fi, fi fis sayyara, sayyara is a car. Fis sayyara ti. Fis sayyara ti. You can't say fis sayyara tu. Yeah, fil bayti. Fil bayti. Right? Right? So the fi are harf jar. Thumma means then, or moreover, right? Or, uh, so it could be by time, then that's happened, or something, tartib, and even more than that. Okay? It also makes the, the word after it, jar. But so what category? Huh? The, 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 thumma and fi are actually... No, thumma, thumma. Thumma, yeah, Thumma that's is also... Okay, that's typical harf No, no it's, this is a uh, dharf, dharf zaman. Dharf, 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 dharf. Don't, don't, uh, don't, worry about, don't worry about complicated things. Yeah. You don't have to know if it's dharf. You don't have to need to know if it's harf jar. You don't have to need to know if it's if it's a, a particle of qasam. You don't need to know. You just need to know that, that, this, that this makes the next letter. 
the next word in majroor because these are the reasons that it happened there this i'm putting it in the same category for you fair enough good yeah. you're following right what's your name bro Sulman. glad you came thank you all right all right all right next inter interrogative particles all right interrogative particles are hal and alif and hamza all right so hal me when you put hal in front of a sentence it becomes it makes it a question all right when you put uh hamza and alif in front of a sentence it has the same effect slightly there's some rhetorical effect that we'll, that we'll talk about later but generally when you say hada sayaratun this is a car if you say hal hada sayaratun means is this a car it's simple all right so it, it uh same with hamza so the quran says araita alladhi kafara bi ayatina araita raa is the raita is to see araita is do you see all right and an example of hal is hal jazaa'ul ihsan illa al ihsan like uh waqar bhai he quoted this uh, he said that this is like his favorite little verse that so the, the hal is a uh question makes makes him a question so if you say jazaa'ul ihsan illa al ihsan the the recompense of something ihsan oh you haven't learned that yet it's from same as as ahsan hasuna it's a different permutation we haven't learned that is uh excellence actually ihsan just a like side pet to it is actually the mazda oh, let's uh, not go into yeah is the mazda yeah. is the mazda of hasuna yeah <laughs> it's excellence he was beautiful fine great nice excellent ihsan is excellence yeah all right so hal jaza yeah question what does hal mean again hal mean is a it makes it into a question whatever you're doing makes whatever you whatever your uh sentence you're making if you stick hal in front of it makes it a question okay next laysa all right laysa is basically it's a negative it, it negates something all right so uh asubhu qareeb morning is near okay laysa subhu qareeb morning is not near or negates it negates it it's simple laysa is a ne it negates a sentence if the sentence that you the thing you're negating is feminine it'll say laysa if it's masculine it'll say laysa right so laysa or laysa okay we have to know um laysa only for this for this yes go ahead laysa would mean is it not or is it okay, not good question right so what does okay smarty pants what is what does it mean a laysa subhu bi qareeb ali bhai a laysa subhu bi qareeb is the morning not here exactly is the morning not so we just basically made we now we had a two things right we made a retort a question with a negation right we made we 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 asked a rhetorical question <laughs> awesome great you guys are, see this is this is a math you're putting it together watch when it, watch 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 when it comes out in school inshallah all right next word la all right this is the lamb of emphasis write this stuff down this is all important okay <laughs> don't don't miss this <laughs> la lamb of emphasis all right so if if i say if i say kana fi yusuf wa ikhwatihi aya okay kana fi yusuf wa ikhwatihi aya kana it was in 
the story of Yusuf and his brothers a sign. All right? If I say, okay, let me do two words. And Qad. La and Qad. Qad, it means whatever that we, we talk about is completely finished. All right? Completely finished. So, Daraba. Rehan, uh, Daraba Rehan, Rehan hit. Qad Daraba. Uh, what's your name again? Huh? Yusuf, Yusuf. Okay. Daraba Rehan Yusuf. Yusufa. Rehan hit Yusuf. If I say Rehan hit Yusuf, that means, if I say Daraba Rehan Yusuf, Rehan hit Yusuf. If I say God, or if someone says, if, uh, then, okay, let me use a different example. Ali. Ali Daraba Yusuf. Ali hit Yusuf. All right? So we say, Ali Daraba Yusuf, Ali hit Yusuf. If I say, God Daraba, he goes, he did it, and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right? God Daraba. It's completed. Uh, even though Daraba means it's because it was past tense. But a lot, but uh, Arabic has a kind of a nuanced way of emphasizing. Mm. It's done completely and in the box, gone. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Rehan Bhai, so uh, would you say that Qad basically means very? Uh, you know, for example, Qad aflaha man tazakka. Qad aflaha man zakka. Uh yeah, it can. So I'm, we're gonna we're gonna translate we're gonna translate this because I'm gonna add also la. So I'll show you how we can translate. But it could be it could be as very. Okay, the, thank you. Modern standard Arabic. Is that, is that fine? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. So, so the question was, how do you translate la? Okay. There's a there's a number of books you can use for for trans for how to understand these uh, these nuances. But it's hard for me to explain the exact translation. In the modern standard Arabic, there's a particular textbook that they use in all the university. They actually have a note that says, uh, it says, best left untranslated. Okay? Because there's no real translation. That's why every Quranic Arabic text you'll, 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 every Ar Quranic Arabic translation you'll read will always fall short. No one can ever translate this. You have to learn the nuances of this by reading and understanding in Arabic. There's no translation to this, right? So it's it's not it's not just very, it's not just surely, it's not, it just was. You'll understand. God Daraba, he beat him up and is done. Done deal. Done deal. Now, Lam is another form of emphasis. Double M. Yeah. So Lam is another emphasis, which means like, again, surely, verily, indeed. Certainly. Now, in some places we find, like you just said, laqad, laqad kana, verily. So if we, if I said qad kana, qad kana fi Yusuf wa ikhwatihi aya, right? There was, there were signs. There were, there were um, in Yusuf and his brother's life. There were signs. It's done. It really was. Done. If I say Lakadakana, surely already there has been. It's it's a way of, like a way of emphasizing maybe by saying very or surely or certainly. Yes. So the Quran is using sometimes both emphasis. That's right. Either. Like this in this in this in this surah is Lakadakana fi Yusuf. Lakadakana fi Yusuf wa ikhwatihi ayah. That's how Allah says it. So there's Allah is really bringing your attention to it. Yeah, in that specific story. G. What does lam mean again? Lam is lam of emphasis. What is em emphasis? Emphasis means to make something uh, a very uh, uh, emphasis. What's the word? To make something to, to strongly bring your attention to something. Indeed, certainly, verily. Okay. And the same example is in Surah Al-Qin as well. It's yeah, right. Like, like, the, 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 the reason the, the, the reason I'm giving you these these I'm giving you some context in other surahs, but all of this is focused on theme. Because inshallah, by, by next class, now after this class, you'll have learned all of the vocabulary and the the agents that are working on those words. 
next class, inshallah, we're going to go through a surah thing, and you'll it'll all come out, inshallah. Okay, but you but it's good to understand it through, um, you know, in a wide way. Okay. You gonna stop? Did the video stop? No. Everyone's still with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see it. All right. Cool. All right. Last word for today. Yep. All right. Is. Um. Are you oh. Sorry. Huh. To, I think it made you the house. Okay. Oh, you're not in? I, I just was. I don't know why I came from here. I was recording. You're actually host. I am? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Keep going. That's fine. Okay. So, um, last, those last few words. La. La. Now, we did lam of qasam. That's one type of lam. There's another type of lam which means four, okay? Yeah. It's also a harf jar, yeah. all right? So it depends what kind of what it, what it is attached to. So when it's attached to a noun, a noun, Barak, you know what a noun is? A noun is a thing. So the, the qalam, whoa, what's that? All right, the, the, the pen, right? Um, um, the... No, no. Let's say burak. The qalam. Li burak. The pen four. is for burak. It's someone, it shows belonging or ownership. Okay? But if you use it uh, like a name, like Allah, Allah is a noun, it's a, it becomes lilla. Right? Lilla. When it's a pronoun, such as him or you uh, uh, or you all, it becomes la. la. So it can be either li la or la. Lahu, lahum, lakum. Laka. Right? So kaf and hu and uh, laha. These are all pronouns. We're going to do them later. All right? We're going to do all this later. But right now we know that la means for. It's a harf jar. And when you attach it with a noun like Allah, that word becomes uh, like a harf jar, which means kasra at the end. So it becomes lilla, lilla he, right? Lilla he. Just lilla he means for Allah. Or by for Allah. Allah. Yeah, for for Allah. But translated as in the name of. Yeah, belong to. For. So it means belonging to or for. All right. So the that's that's it. All those things that change words. Um, there's just two more. There's two more vocabulary words you kind of should know. That's just ida. That means then, or um, when, when yeah. or if. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, fa, and that means then. Also, so they're, they're, they're close in their meaning, but you'll see how it comes out. So just have the word ida. And fa memorized. Fa means after that, and ida can mean if or if or when. Okay, so that's the class for today. Those are the vocabulary words from last time that you should know, and this time you should know. And there's a lot of rules associated. With them. Try to make the different sections like we did last time. For the ism of rule, ism fa'il, ism tafdil, um, uh, sifum shabaha. Now we learned a bunch of things that make things majroor. Marfu' is the de the default state. And, and that's it. Inshallah, I think that would cover all of the rules and the, um, remember, mazdar, right? Any questions about any of this stuff? One second, someone has a question. Yes, go ahead, Yaman. Uh, Rayhan, I was just wondering if uh, Iza is used in modern standard Arabic as well, or is only yeah, yeah, specific yeah. in Quranic oh, yeah. Arabic? Okay. No, no, we use it. We use it. We use it in sentences okay. in or regular Arabic. Okay, okay, amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Barak, you had a question? Yeah, what does Ida mean? Ida isn't like uh, if or when. So, Ida sami'atani, if you hear me. Then, then I'll then I'll tell you. Then I'll give you an answer. So there's a jawab and shart. This is this is one of the ways of shart, and then you make a jawab a shart. 
So it's way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. What about Yes. Huh? What about Alif and Hamza? Alif and Hamza is a, is a question particle. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. Class is finished. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. But review the vocabulary. So, guys, I wanted to say review the vocabulary, okay? Inshallah. It's, you'll, you'll get it from Brother Ali. And um, uh, and if you come on time, because what happens is coming on time allows you to get all the information. Also, I don't, also, I don't like to leave you lost. If I hadn't made like a few minutes of repeating, yeah. you might not have followed what I was saying. Mm -hmm. But people had already heard it. So it allows me to keep you uh, yeah, yeah, all course. the on face. Yeah, so it's sure. good if you can. And, and it's wonderful you guys came. Do you guys have any question? Anything you can you can ask me or yeah. Fa'ala. Yeah. What does fa'ala mean? Fa'ala means to do. Fa'ala. Fa'ala is form two. It means to emphasize that action. So either I did it more intensely or I made you do. Okay. I caused someone to do. But kazaba means you're making someone lie. Yeah. Kazaba. Yeah. Lie. Kazaba is uh, he lied. Kazaba. Is you you're making uh, to you're crying a lie, as if he you're saying that this guy is lying. Isn't that different from yes, yeah? Isn't that different from making someone do it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you'll see the, 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 you'll see that these uh, verbs, these yeah, verbs, yeah. they're not like exact. Oh, okay. You'll see you 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 get a sense from them. after you use you use you see them many many times. Yeah. They all kind of, you can say oh I see how that that works. Okay. Isn't it? Because there's there's so many vocabulary words. Right. It's not like they they follow. Not not one exact. Set. No, but but there's a there's a you get a feel for him. Yeah. So form two usually has this feel to it. Yes, Yemen. Uh, Rehinda, just um, a question is not exactly related to the lesson. I was just wondering, uh, you know, for Arabic words, right? Um, when you want want to show possession, so you want to say my something. So for yeah. example, friend is Habib, and then Habibi is my friend. Yeah. Um, what is the like? Um, because you mentioned the word uh, sayara is uh, is female, so yeah. how do you say you know my car? Like how do you say uh, sayarati? Say, yeah. And uh, how how would you say it for you know let's say uh, Arabic right? Because Arabic you say lughat al arabiya. So how would mm -hmm. you say my Arabic is not good? Like arabiyati uh, laysa jayid. Yeah. Or arabiyati uh, laysa jayid. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. 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 Maybe. You'll you, you say uh, you know, and, you know, I mean, they say, my, 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 my language. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're Such welcome, a man. pleasure. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Anybody else anybody, got any questions? Because then we'll, 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 we'll wrap up and um, call it day. Jazakallah khair. Sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaykum salam. Alaykum salam. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> no, no, we're good. We just finished. So, I mean, we just finished. It's good. I said, I said, Salam, and I told him, and I think he's still online. <laughs>